Hi guys. Happy Sunday. How is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome to our channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, I mean, my voice is like a little crazy. I was here doing around with a project I was making and thank you, thank you so much for keeping me here or coming along with me. Hello, Pam. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing better, thank God. I've been drinking lemon uh, water and it seems to be working. I'm being here trying to um, figure out what I was going to do. So um, while well, I waited for nine o'clock to come around. So, well, anyway, I want to thank everybody who comes along, who has been coming along after light goes off and everything else. And um, I finally said, I think the lighting is better now. You see behind me bags of stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you. Hi, Grandma Joe. Welcome. So I set up the light back there. It's a little light. This the thing that is this tiny. That's how small it is. But it, I think it, it has a better view. So anyway, I was saying, hi, sweetie. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm glad you're coming to join us. Maybe you love you get a kick out of the things, the crazy things that I do here in this channel. <laughs> How's your craft room coming along? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I finally set up the light. So I th I'm hoping this is a better view. Uh, even the light wasn't that bad. I'm trying to set up a background here, but unfortunately I might, this room is so freaking small. <laughs> Thank you, Pam, for that. I, I needed the input because I wasn't sure. I said, okay, I'm going to put these lights on and let's see how it goes. I mean, they've been here forever. I just haven't used them except when I'm doing craft because I'm kind of going blind as you get older. <laughs> So I was hoping, I said, okay, let me try them tonight. The girls will let me know. So I'm hoping everything is you. I mean, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to be sharing little, little things here and there besides the stuff that I bought. Oh, I wish I could go there and help you. You know how many times since you started you think I have changed this? It's like I'm crazy. Anyway, I'm OCD. You know how it is. But I know you work outside long hours too, so that, that much I know. So... <clears throat> I was telling my husband, I had to start this stashy stuff that I don't use. He said, yes, yes, yes. Everybody wants me to sell this stuff. I said, I don't want to sell my stuff. This is stuff I love. This is stuff is dear to my heart. It, like paper crafting and stuff like that. I don't do that much paper crafting, but once in a while I do a challenge or something like that, and I have it there. But my main thing is painting and decorating and, and sewing. Right now I'm going to be sharing with you some much fabric I got the um uh, harlequin and square whatever you want to call them uh so i'm going to be doing two runners and napkins um uh, uh for the fall oh actually for halloween because this coming week i'm getting all excited i want my husband to take all my beans out because i'm going to be decorating for halloween the cute little things i have i don't decorate gore halloween i it's like a kind of whimsical childish these are my toys guys this is our toys right so that's how I feel today. I'm in a good spirit. Um, I the other day was a three days ago. I thought I was like, I was getting kind of I was really really bad or four days ago, and I'm trying to wonder what do I feel like that? I haven't exposed to anything. Guess what, guys? I have run out of my regular coffee with caffeine. I love coffee, so I I take more than three or four cups a day. That's what keeps my thing. If you see this here, this is a, a medical a medicine patch that I wear for my neck because the damage on my neck I have. So I have to put it on because my arm has been bothering me, but I don't pay no mind to that anyway. So I said, then the next day my daughter brought me coffee. I drank a cup and I was feeling so good. I said, man, what a cup of coffee can do to you. And it was, I, wanted, I guess I was getting withdrawal from caffeine, I guess. And that's what it was because I was feeling sluggish and tired and my legs were starting shaking. I said, what the heck is this the day before? And I was drinking coffee, but it was the caffeinated. And I did have caffeinated coffee, but it wasn't the brand that I normally, uh, I mean, I have spare in case I run out and my daughter doesn't bring it to me because usually she's the one who does the groceries. So anyway, that was that's what was happening like a couple of days ago. I said, oh man. So that coffee is, what is it? Coffee is a goal of the gods is that what they used to say back then in ancient times i think i watched too many videos <laughs> anyway thank you for being here thank you for sharing uh your time with me i hope you share the views if you can i mean i, I don't do this for money i just do it because i love coming along with you girls and chatting hi judy how are you 
Gloria Gal. <laughs> I've been picking up that that saying from uh, the South. Hey y'all, <laughs> I'm turning into a Southerner. <laughs> oh, my daughter laughs. She gets a kick out of me. <laughs> She's supposed to be joining us. I don't know what happened. She probably got distracted with the kids. She was trying to feed them, and you know how it is when you have children. I'm glad that you're doing well. Oh, my goodness, girls. I am praying so hard for all this stuff to get, go away. I wish that there is, like, we have a magic one and just go like this. If you see, I have painted my hands. I was painted with this, uh, this little project. Let me show you the little projects first before I had. I got this Dollar Tree, guys, but I can't leave stuff the way they are. Oh, here she is. Hey there. Hey, y'all. <laughs> How are you? Bright eyes. <laughs> that's my daughter, Alexa. She's That's my oldest one. She's uh, the thing. <laughs> okay, Grandma Joe. Okay, good. Good advice. You see, Alex, she just said, don't get rid of my stuff. I don't want to sell my stuff. It's dorm, those are my toys. Anyway, let me share this with you quickly. Um, this is the little things that you buy at Dollar Tree. Of course, they're not this decorated. I just did the hat for this one and the little flower that they came with. I did this. Um, I, um, of course, I had to plump her up and I did her some braids. If you see the little braids with a little bow from the south. So she's ready to be out there in the yard. <laughs> yes, y'all. <laughs> and then I also did the little boy. This is from Dollar Tree Dollar, but I had I added some little balls from my craft that I had. Hers are yellow because of her yellow dress or whatever pumping thing. And her little braids and everything. And I made a, a hair for him out of this draw. He came with it, so I cut it and trimmed it and made, gave him a haircut. I made a little hat for him. A dollar, guys. And you can play with it and with the little toys you have. <laughs> so cute for my tear tray. I'm waiting for my tear tray. I ordered from... Uh, Bella, I ordered it. She mailed it on Monday, but the mail with all the commotion with the elections, I guess they forgot about the regular mail. <laughs> so that one little project I did. Then this is those uh, things that you buy from Dollar Tree, but of course, it didn't say this. I painted them and put my own saying here, made a bow, and added some little, the little flower here that I bought from, what did I get these flowers? Oh, from Hobby Lobby. I had a little package uh, from the full section so i have i added this some flower here and this is from dollar tree so they're supposed to be pumpkins i painted this down here the squirrel going to the things yes yes look at this one here this i changed the colors completely of course one stayed black but i had to shave everything this one is like a like a see the color there so i was putting the white outlining i have not done with that but figure I'll share with you. This is brown in the back. So then I got this one here. I painted it green and I did a pumpkin in the bottom. Oops. Let me see. You guys can see the regular color. Yeah. So they come like, you know, and I changed. I did the sides. And of course I had to do the back. I can't leave stuff undone and they have to be completely done. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. So, I mean, from Dollar Tree, if you don't have a lot of money, you can just do that, you know? So, I got that. Um, let me show you. Let me see. Let me show you. This is, I went like a week and a half ago. Hobby Lobby had their paints on sale. And you know how much I love paint. <laughs> the squirrel so cute, so tiny, right? Rochelle is so tiny. Yeah, I got this, these uh, markers, Sharpie markers from Michael's. And they came in different colors. So I got a few. I got the, they were packaged. I think one is all like rose gold, red, and black, and white. And then they got the little ones. This thing is like, okay, come on. Come on, computer. <laughs> you you could order from Dollar Tree online, uh, Grandma Joe. I know that if you go into the regular website, you have to order the quantity, they say. But I don't know what the... There's another website that people have been sharing that you can order. I can't remember that. I'm trying to find out because I want to order the dumb pumpkins, wire pumpkins. Why is this thing kind of... Uh, there you go. Um, they You can order from... But what the heck is this? It's an... Um, 
it's a website that uh that people have been saying that you can order online one of those side websites and uh, you get points from it and um i'm trying to think i can't remember right now but uh, if i remember because i want to order so the punk the wire pumpkins that i cannot find them anywhere here i even asked my daughter to see if she could find them she couldn't find them in new jersey either so um i want to make uh those pumpkins that people are making with the the, the yarn so pretty but i haven't found them anyway let me show you what i got from hobby lobby this is a quick thing i didn't put it on the website and the title because uh i guess i'm gonna have to add it i forgot about it guys but i got this this is um i used my 40 percent on this it was 23.99 and the 40 percent. this is a jail press and basically i don't know for those who don't know i know rochelle knows about it she knows all that stuff she has beautiful stuff um it's like a gel plate i guess like a square made out of gel some kind of resin or something and you put paint here and then uh you can put a, a stamp or a, what you call it, a brayer or something and you can put paper you can make your own paper make, make designs with it but i've been wanting one of these for a while so i ordered this one well i got it from um i wasn't expecting it to be the 12 by 12 but I, when i found the 12 by 12 i was, was very happy yeah that's that's right mixed media and you know how crazy i'm i love I love paint. I love painting. As you notice, I can, Rochelle, you haven't seen that painting that I made. That one there. That I painted that. So, and I have another one that I had to finish for fall. Um, when I get depressed, that's what I do. I paint like that. <laughs> so, anyway, let me show you this. These paints were 50% um, off, and they're the Master Touch Fine Art Studio. And this is the what's what's the the 4.1 ounces they have a bigger a bigger one than this but i wanted this size because you know um and these were 5.99 each and i paid 250 for them and this is like the yellow they're acrylic lemon yellow so it's a lemon yellow and that's the number in case you need it right here don't look at my nails you know guys i know it's no, no secret i bite my nails when i gets to me i just <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Grandma Joe. You don't get the gel press, uh, Pam, why? Oh, the, the picture you're talking about, Rochelle? Yeah, I just painted that one of those days that I was like blue, not depressed. I was kind of, you know how sometimes the sky gets gloomy? I was gloomy. That's what it was. And I just started painting. I didn't even know where I was going with it. but And I started another one I had to finish. What is it, a gel press? Okay, let me see. I'll tell you what a gel press is. Let me read what it says here. If they have it in English, they have it in Spanish. They don't, let me see. Uh, I don't know what other language they have it here. Okay, it's called a gel press. It's a gel printing plate to create one of a kind print. So basically, for example, let me see what I have here I can show you. Hmm. Um, suppose that you have um, a brayer that has this, you see how this is like scallop? Suppose the brayer has those scallops design, or it doesn't necessarily have to be, it could be a stamp, or like I can press a stamp, you know what I'm saying, and make designs. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> Basically, you see the pictures here, and this, or the, you can put, you can pour different kinds of paint, you brayer it up. Like I could put pink here, yellow here. Uh, I guess I should have to. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of videos out there. If you want me, I can try to do one. I'm not that good at it, but uh, I can try. But I love paint, so I, I love to, you know. That's what I'm trying to do, Alex. I'm trying to explain to it. Let me see. They know the. Oh, here we go. So basically, you put the. This is the gel press right here. It's, it's clear. You put different color paints you want. This is the brayer. You run it through then over here yeah you can do that too uh, over here what is this do they're doing i guess they're stamping different things and it creates like a 3d effect i guess then you take the paper whatever paper you want it could be i mean sometimes depends on the paper that graph paint you know like he, paper and then it comes out like this you see how they she used the brayer here and she used this to make this design here and when she put the paper, it comes out like that. Hi, Lisa. Welcome, sweetie. So it, it comes out like this. 
And like uh, over here, you see, uh, hearts. I mean, it's a different things you can do. Flowers, whatever, whatever you you can stamp on the after you put the ink on. It's basically just to it's flexible enough to to be able to imprint anything, and you can. That's the best way I can explain it. And put the paper, make your own paper. Like instead of buying the paper, you can make your own paper for journal, for to making a card. You let it dry, of course, because it's regular paint like this, acrylic paint. So, yeah, I can open it. Let me see. Let me cut this. I don't want to open it. They don't know the stuff I have. Oh, yeah, it's not easy enough. Here we go. It's clear. It has paper here to protect it. See? And basic is really soft. It, it's it's like uh you see how it's like a it's not gel. Or I don't know how to explain it. Well, it's gel, of course, some kind of resin of some type, and it's very flexible. If you see me moving it, see, and you put the paint there when you press whatever impression you have on it with the ink, that's what it creates. So you can see it. See. It's, it's fun if you want one of those days that you don't know what to do with yourself you take ink you know red flowers also does videos with the gel plates yeah red flower um her and uh crafting on a budget did a video on it um may may or larson she did a video on it so i found it and i was going to buy it from may larson but i decided you know when i went to have it i found i said okay i don't have to pay for shipping so I mean, it came out at four, $34.99, 40% off. It came out at $17, $17.99. So that's a great price for this item, for the 40% off. So I got that. And I was showing you the paints. So I got the yellow, lemon yellow, which I shared with you the number. I got this uh, purple red, but it's like a pink. I don't know if you can see. There's the number. They were 50% off. I love paint. Light olive green. And all of them are the same size. As you can see. Uh, come on. There you go. That's the number. They're backwards, but you can read backwards, right? So I got those colors. I try to stay with the basic colors that I can mix in. This is like a Persian red, but it's like a pinkish color. there then i got this purplish this is called purple that's the number who's h oh hobby lobby hobby lobby um hobby lobby uh 90 percent already is come and gone they they're doing now for they did 40 percent of um this is a yellow, deep yellow, but it's almost like an orange color, lighter color, very pretty color. Compared to this one, this is like a flesh yellow. So that's the flesh. You see, this is the 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 yellow, deep yellow, but it's like an orangey, more to the orange size. I mean, the purple is very pretty. So, and then, I have the sky blue and this is like a light purple see compared to this one this is a light purple that glare is driving me crazy <laughs> yeah so i have section i have i move my paint to this side with my uh with my Alice in Wonderland theme thing, and I've been moving stuff around. I'm crazy. What can I tell you? This is a uh, light magenta. Look how beautiful this color. Look at this one compared to this one. This supposed this supposed to be. Let's see. This this the left one supposed to be a purple red, but it's like a pinkish color. I guess she has some a light magenta. Beautiful color. So what I did was I chose this color. My husband was trying to figure it out with me because I'm going to show you a box. This is the violet compared to the purple. 
This is a violet. See how dark it is? I could have taken white and make that lighter, but sometimes you're in a hurry painting or you're inspired and you don't want to do. And then I got, this is the turquoise green. And it looks darker on the picture than what it is for $250. And this one is the enamel green, emerald green, I'm sorry. It looks it looks lighter on the picture than what it is. It's a little it's darker than what it is. Let me see. Oh, it has the sealer on. Okay. So I got um I say a few of them because the basic color you have you're wondering why they shouldn't get basic colors. I'm gonna show you why. <laughs> because I was figuring out what's the best what's the best with the money. And this was 50% off. This was $27.99, 50% off of that. Not necessarily, Alex. I um, inspiration comes and you mix in things and like you just take them and mix them. It's, it's not. It's not. You don't buy things just it's specific for painting, but it's not what you're painting. Is when this inspiration comes. I can paint anything. I can paint it. Like I took a little paint from uh, Michaels that I bought that is normally used for crafting. I painted my china closet. You never know what I'm gonna paint, girl. So basically, this has 10 paints, and it has the basic colors. It was $27.99, 50% off. So it has 10 paints. This has the, the basic colors. Let me take it out so you can see. She's asking me that question because she thinks I have too much. Right, Alex? I have too much? <laughs> so... But it's not a girl. Tell her. Tell her it's not. It's not enough. Sometimes when you lose, least expect you're doing a project, you can't find stuff. <laughs> so basically, it has it's a smaller version of it. It has the white. Uh, this is half of this one. So I don't know if we did get. Um, I figure I was trying to keep it on my budget. That's why this is titanium white. This yellow is yellow yellow medium, which is different than this one. See the colors? And this is the number. And this is a titanium. Then this is a ultramarine. And this one here. This is the Christian. Because sometimes you don't want to paint with just with chalk paint. I sometimes I get annoyed with the chalk paint. This is permanent black. And this is green grass green. Come on. And this is green completely green than this. Let me see. This is the emerald green. And this is the lighter version. And then this is a turquoise. So the different colors. So I got that one. And then this one is permanent red. And this is, I can't say that word, something blue. You can uh, see, what is it? Falociani blue, something like that. Anyway, you can read it. <laughs> and then this one is yellow ochre. Ochre. Yeah, right, Grandma Jo. After you get to our age, we have to make what makes us ourselves happy, right? Yeah, and this is the burnt umber, which everybody loves. I love this burnt umber. So it, it brought 10, 10 tubes of two uh, fluid ounces, and this is four fluid ounces. So that's for that one. Put this back here. I love painting. I can paint myself if I want to. <laughs> if I don't know, it's something about paint that makes you so 
so relaxed. He relaxes, either relaxes me. It's like you you go into your own planet, basically. That's what you do. Okay. Put this back here. Sorry for that. I my room is small. Let me see this thing. It's like there. Sorry about that. I had to do that, otherwise the camera stays on. Um, then I was looking for a brush. I have plenty of brushes, but this one has like, uh, you see, has like indentation on it. And this is like uh, when you do like, uh, I guess you, you take a little paint and you, you distress things. Pam, I paint anything I can find. <laughs> I paint furniture. I paint, I make paints. That's one of my paintings. Um... The, that sometimes, you know, um, what else do I paint? Anything, uh, uh, wood, different things. So I got this. this is, they had them on sale that day, too. This is a Royal and um, whatever the brand name, Lag, Nick, whatever the name is. Let me see if you focus. There you go. That's the brand. So I got that. And this has that little thing. I don't remember how much this was. How much was this? But it wasn't a lot. This is for all media. Oh, it was $7.99, 50% off. This is a Moderna three-quarter flat wisp. That's what this is called. For those who are looking, this is the number. Hi, Dawn. Welcome, hon. Animal, um, I don't think this is animal. I think this is more synthetic. Let me see. Of course, it's made in China. Uh, I guess it was manufactured by uh, Royal Brush Manufacturing Inc. in Monster, Indiana. I don't think this is animal uh, thing. Because I don't like the animal things because they can't, they tend to come apart. This is more like a mix of synthetic. So, you know. Oh, thank you for that. Let me put it over here. It depends on my spirit of my mood at the time. Okay. That's for that. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Dollar Tree stuff I'll show you at the end because you guys see most of the stuff. But uh, let me show you what I got from Kirkland's. I am so happy, guys. I like you would think I don't have no decorations in my house, but I was happy. I, wanted to, I saw this when it came out, and I fell in love with him. So this originally was uh, how much? Fifty four ninety nine. I ended up paying thirty four ninety nine with the discounts. But he lights up, and I loved. I fell in love because of this. I, I saw went to Mike, who was more than this, a little two dollars less, but it was smaller than this. It wasn't made out of a uh, metal like this one is. It doesn't have the details. Look at the handles, the details on the handle is. That's it for Kirkland's girl. If you can find it, then guy I called the day before because this when they started putting stuff out three weeks ago, I saw it and I didn't want to pay because it wasn't on sale. So I waited and I called um, Thursday to, to, to have the girls see if they still had it because they were sold out online. So, but look at the little, the, the handle, the thing, the wheel. I fell in love with this. You reminded me, you know, back in, in, in my country, Puerto Rico and the headlights. I think I'm going to put some type of, um, inside there, the grill and everything. Everything is metal. I'm going to, I'm going to write down here my last name to, you know, to personalize it. This is from Kirkland's, Dawn. Kirkland's. Because I saw one similar, what was it? Was it Walmart? Uh, somebody has been shown, Walmart, I don't know if it's Michael or Walmart. I know Michael has a, a red one, but it's more than this one. And it costs around $32. I think, even with, with the coupon. I think it costs 50 something dollars, but the coupon came out. Because I went to see it, but I, they had it in white too, but it was smaller than this one. No, that's a Kirkland's is a, a decoration store. You can buy uh, different things in the um, decor. 
I have a. I also have one that I got last year, but the la one last year is only it's all tin metal too, and it has the wheel inside, guys. Look at the wheel. So you're driving away on it. Isn't he cute? And then he turns on. Look at the back. It's so well made. Really nice. <laughs> oh, farm and fleet. I love this truck. And then you can turn it on. Let me see if you can see the lights. Hold on. It comes with everything. Let me put him down because my hand is getting tired. I love this here, the thing here. Hold on a second. And it lights up. I don't know if you could see it. But it lights up. I shut the lights off at night and it looks so pretty. I am going to add more flowers, of course, because I think they... They were costing the, the they run out of flowers when they put flowers and decoration. Maybe a couple more pumpkins or something. But inside here, I might put make maybe I put something here to make it look like an actual grill, you know, like they have. And of course, like I said, I'm gonna write my name down over here, my last name or something, you know. It was uh $34.99 with a discount. They had a 20%, and my husband gets a 10% uh service. Uh, military service thing. So you buy it with a coupon. But I am in love. I'm like a little queen with all these toys. <laughs> I decorate. It's like, uh, you know, when it's like if your childhood, if you didn't have to. Thank you guys for those thumbs up, whoever those three girls are. Whoever gave me thumbs up, I really appreciate that. Let me show you the oh, wait, 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 wait. I have something else I have to share with you. Woof, woof, woof. Check him out. Isn't he adorable for Kirkland's too? They didn't do a great job on the bandana, but I guess I can fix it. You know, we all crafters can fix it. But look at this. Isn't he adorable? Has a little tail. And the bottom is all felt. The little feet. Little feet. They had the Gim Gum bandana here. Let me see. <laughs> I might change it. You can change it with color. Isn't he cute? He was $39.99 and 20 per, well, 20 percent that the store was giving. And I got 20% plus a 10%, of course. And I don't remember how much it cost. He came out like what well, maybe 20 something dollar, $28 or something like that. Well, he's pretty big. Compare, I don't know what I'm going to compare. Let's see, compare to my arm. It's pretty big. Put it in a little corner. And that bushy tail in the back. Let me put this here. Okay. What's this from... Uh... Then my husband fell in love with this one, this little gnome on the bicycle. This was $9.99. <laughs> yeah, Grandma Joe. So I got him, the little pumpkin in the back, squishy, the little wheel and the legs. Came out to, what, uh, to $6? $6. This is like a faux leather and his little beard. <clears throat> then like I need more, more dishes, but I fell in love with this. It says, hello pumpkin. And it has a gingham inside. This was $6.99, 20% off. So what, $4 each? Hi, Davida, my dear friend. How are you? Been missing you. You've been missing in action, girl. This one says, happy fall, yo. <laughs> it has the game going black and white. Oops. Then I got these. They smell really good. Sorry, I'm standing up, guys. You can't see my head. There you go. <laughs> so I got this and the reason I got this of course I'm going to use the rest but I want these 
sticks. Even though I can get stick from outside, but I, I feel like the, the, the stick from outside, unless you treat them, they have bugs or something, and I'm afraid of bringing bugs into the house. This was $9.99. It came out to $6. The reason why I got those sticks is because I've been making these pumpkins from the fabric I shared with you last time. So I'm going to be, of course, I'm going to be putting leaves and uh, the decoration here. So I have different sizes. This I got this fabric I got it from Joanne last uh, two weeks ago. So I got like a, a quarter of a yard, and they're like fluffy. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna do them together as a topiary or I'm gonna do them separate. Who knows? And then I have a tiny little one, and then I'm gonna use the stick for that. So I have felt the velvet there too. Oops. I have them here working on them. So that's what I got. This is autumn wood, coconut milk, sandalwood, vanilla. That's the scent. Premium blend, scented potpourri. Was not $10, 20% off, $6. This is going to stay here. Then they had all the candles on sale. I didn't know. They were originally $10. And... With my discount, the 20 and the 10, it ca they came out to $4.93. So I got this one, Pumpkin Spice, which smells delicious. Oh, my God. It smells like fall. And I have another one that I got um, that is already burning. I couldn't wait. Oh. oh, my God, guys. It smells so good. It smells like uh, having chocolate when you're drinking chocolate. Oh, when the, you know how the chocolate smells sweet with the foamy milk and you have the marshmallows? That's how you, when you smell this, this is what it makes you think of. It's like, oh, delicious. $4.93 for a candle, three-week candle. And they, they burn really good. And I already, like I said, I already had, I already had one burning. So, hmm. It's like, so, yes, it is, Dawn. It smells yummy. Like I said, it smells like, you know, when you take, when it's cold outside in the winter and you, you warm up the, the milk and the, it makes it foamy and then you put the chocolate in there and then you take those marshmallows in top and they're fluffy floating on top and then it smells so good and sweet and, and warm and mm, that's that kind of, when you smell this, is how you feel. <laughs> It gets cold. My daughter, because I don't get snow here, she says, I don't like Florida because there's snow. But it gets cold here, girl. We have to put the heat on sometimes here. Not as often as everybody north, but we do. We do. Okay. Sorry I have to get up, but it's unfortunately my room is small. I got these. They had them for $10, and this is so soft. Let me put this up with the, with the scissors. <laughs> I'm just trying to discuss this. You guys can ask. We don't have smell, smell of television, so I had to. I had to describe to you how it smells, how it feels when you smell it. This one originally is fourteen ninety nine. They also had the rugs at ten dollars this weekend. I got one, but it's already on on the on the floor over there at the entrance. It said I got the one that says home, and it's that that the hard thing that you can swipe your feet. It's in the entrance, and it, it says home, and it has a pumpkin for the old. I couldn't wait, guys. But let me show you this. Uh, now, you're sticking a blanket, right? But this... Oh, look. And you take the hot, ch the hot cocoa, and you can smell it. <laughs> Take the pumpkin and smell it and pretend that you is his fault. Oh my god. <laughs> it is really, really soft for 10 bucks. Great. Dawn is, is amazing. Really, really soft. I have a yellow one, which is a little different, and I have another one I shared with you before. It's very soft, very cozy. My cat wanted it. I put it on, I put my bags and he went inside the bag trying to cuddle in. <laughs> Yeah, she loves, my daughter Alex, she loves the weather. And he has, I mean, let me see, he's pretty well sewn. 
I mean, you could tell that they sewn it really good because the ends. See this? You have to look when you sew when sewing. I sew too, so I know. You the ends. You see how they sewed it, they, and you can see they they seal the sewing. And over here, I don't know if you could see, but the ending when they end it over here, so it doesn't come apart. So that's a good sewing fabric. And this is, I guess, is the, the way it was folded. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm ready for fall, guys. And this is made out of, it says here, machine wash, cold separately, gentle cycle, use mild detergent only, no bleach, tumble dry low, remove promptly, 100% polyester, made in China, of course. Where was the manufacturer? Uh... It doesn't say where it's manufactured. For those who would like to order one online, let me give you the thing. It's a 50 by 60 warm and plush throw. Luxuriously soft. It's by Kirkland and it's called Heavenly. I'm sorry for that glare, guys. It's the fan that I have on. Just look at this side here. And let me see. I tear off the thing. If you're interested in the number by Kirkland's, hold on. I'm trying to put this together here so you guys can grab the number. Oh, the Kirkland number is right here. So, in case you're interested. Oh, right here. This Q number. Can you see it? It's uh let me see if I can read it. It's uh the SKU number for Kirk is 25 dash 205214. Because if you call the store and you want to uh, find out if they have it, that's the number you have to give them. So I'm just telling you verbally and I show you because sometimes you can't see things on camera and I'm not an expert on, um, uh, what do you call that, um, videos or whatever you call it. And then to go with the blanket, I'm getting ready. I got myself, that's, that black is going to go on my bed and this is going to go on my bed. This is welcome to our pumpkin patch. And it's really soft. So I got the, the the chocolate. I got the candle and the blankie. Welcome to my pumpkin patch, guys. And this is it's like a what do you call this? I don't. I, it says here is this was made for Edgewood in New York. 16 by 26 inch and it's a uh, 100% polyester. The good thing is that the stuff that you buy there and then of course I remember I told you everything was 20% off. These were not 20% off, these were more. I think they were this were 30% off. And I paid this one originally was 29.99. It was 30% off. But if you don't like the feeling inside, I have plenty of pillows, trust me. I throw pillows. I you can you like the feather one, you buy this instead of sewing. Because this all this is raised, all this is um not embroidered, but it's like um fabric. The letters are fabric. So and this and the quality of the of the stuff that these people made for Kirkland is really nice. It has a zipper in the back. That's one thing you have to make sure if you want to exchange it. For the, the the feather one inside is the regular foamy thing, but this is for decoration, you know. So it has this. If I want to change it for the more cozy one, or you want to chop it like some people like to do. To me, it doesn't make a difference if it chops or not, but it has a zipper so you can exchange it. So they have to keep the cost the cost down. So I guess that's why they put the cheap. Uh, thing inside there that what do you call that that fill fill thing they put this thing is making me noise making me crazy there so i got that 
And then the last two things are the cheapest one, guys. I always pick, you know, you I always pick up stuff, quality stuff at a great price, guys. Remember everybody in doing the Easter, everybody was going crazy with these bunnies. Was $19.99? Of course, I don't like this. I'm gonna change this for Easter. I'll probably paint them, put feathers or you know, fur on them or something. Uh, like I did. This one I paid four dollars and ninety-seven cents. And this is wood. And it's the length. Well, how big is this? Uh, it says it complies with California. That's what it says, but it doesn't say a thing. This I don't like too much, but I can take it off and use it for something else. Uh, I don't know. This looks like a half a yard. Because it's a yard. A yard is this. So this is a half a yard. See? Okay, this is a yard. So it's how the way I can describe it is a yard because I don't have the measuring thing here. So well, this is 13. It's like 26 wide. But look at how cute the bunnies are. So I got this for five dollars on 20, so that's not bad. What 75% off? And then I found this which I can use for fall. It says, hello, sunshine. I can paint this brown or black over here. I can paint the brown to make it more and put some pumpkins here and make it for my entrance. And this one was $24.99 originally. I paid $5.97. That's how I purchased my still Good quality, great deals. The reason why I bring this stuff to you guys is not, it's just with the purpose to, um, so you guys, if you want to go to the stores, if you have the store available, because sometimes some different states don't have them, <clears throat> don't just stick around for the holiday stuff. Go look around the clearance. Sometimes clear, I usually go to the clearance and if meant to be yours, you're going to find it. That's the way I think. <coughs> Excuse me. And for the most, I do find the stuff. Let me put this back over here so I can start showing you home goods. <laughs> so I went to home goods. This is like a cookie jar. I fell in love because somebody was sharing this. This is for Blue Sky. It was $12.99. That's the regular price for fall. For fall or for Halloween. So I got this one, and it's uh, the Halloween collection, Blue Sky. What is this here? Clay. It's, it's made out of clay. Look how cute. I'm going to make some of this with clay, actually. I don't like scary stuff. I like uh, googly stuff, like giggly. You know what I'm saying? I have a tape on it, so that way this doesn't fall. But is this here adorable? He, she, whatever. You can put a flower, make it a she. <laughs> For $13. It's made out of clay. They had the black one of this, but I didn't want the black one. I wanted this one. The candy one, isn't he cute? Let me see if this one turns on. I guess the battery is dead. And it says, Happy Halloween in the front. And it's like, a, I would say... Yeah, it's 12 inches tall, and it lights up, but the thing is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. So, let's cut this off for a second. There you go. You can appreciate it better. This looks like an ice cream, doesn't it? Look at this. Like, you want to eat an ice cream? <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I don't decorate with scary stuff. I don't like skeleton stuff and stuff like that. Uh-uh. Yes, candy cones tree. And this was $16.99 for this one. I saw it as soon as I walked in and I fell in love with it. And it's, I guess it's made by of clay too. It doesn't say, let me see. 
It says Mr. Halloween, follow the magic, and they have their website is www.mrhalloween.com. And it's a ceramic tree, lead illuminated, four hours timer, ceramic construction, battery operated, three double A batteries, not included for indoor use only. So <clears throat> I'm sorry. I guess I'm tickling over here. <clears throat> I didn't even know it has a timer, which is really good. That's for $16 with a timer. That's great. I got that. <clears throat> My toys for Halloween, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Then I found this one. This, you have to put a light, a tea light in here. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yes, exactly, Dawn. Remember those? Now, this one is also from Blue Sky. I like their Blue Sky um, brand. It's pretty nice and well made. I was looking for this pumpkin because they had this pumpkin too, but I couldn't find it. This one was. $14.99 is Blue Sky and Heather Good Wine made it. I get the designer. Isn't he cute? And you put the tea light in here, this side here, you know. So then I couldn't decide. They had a cat and they had this mouse. So I ended up with the mouse. <laughs> I couldn't buy everything in the store, you know. This was uh, $16.99 by Blue Sky also. And the same person, designer, did this one. But look how adorable. I'm going to be doing showing you guys my Halloween decor. They're so adorable, aren't they cute? Look at this one, this one together. <laughs> oh, my little toys. I don't have the kids, but kids are big already. Look at this. So it has this one, so like I said, $16.99 by Blue Sky. Um, home goods. I'm not going to give you any anything else because, you know, TJ my home goods, you have to go there and grab whatever you like. Otherwise, you're not going to find it. <clears throat> Two mice. And then I, ha I got this because I have the other stuff. I think $5.99 for this was a lot. But it's so cute, the bumblebee stuff. And then to complement um, the mouse and uh, these, I got this one. This is like a little basket to put stuff in there. You can put potpourri, you can put candy. And this one was $16.99. This is from TJ Max. Well, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, they all three stores have the same, basically the same thing. And I found this. I couldn't resist. Look at the Vita. Queen Bee. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So this one was $3.99 for this. This is from Home Essentials. Made, what does it say? Made in China. Uh, what does it say? This. Something safe. It says something safe. I, I'm going blind, guys. <laughs> and then <clears throat> let me show. Let me take this off so I can show you this. I'm going to put it here. I have this one, the tray. Something wicked with the truck. What does it say there in the cat? Black cat room broom repaired. So regular $12.99. This is made out of uh, uh let me see. Well the warehouse is in Boston. That's why I said the trade well Boston Warehouse Trading Corporation, Norwood, Maryland. 
and they made that's what they made it here even though it's a china thing it was made here <clears throat> i guess they have association with that he doesn't say oh it's an 18 inch straight wood angle side wicket that's what it's called and you know how you can cover this it's like this is like uh that particle board and this is wood here so the cat makes rooms let me put all these here so i can put it to the side and show you the rest this is a two-week purchase guys this is not just one week normally i used to do one week but uh i mean trying to implement different things you know and then at tj maxx which is this, almost the same store i like this brand peter thomas roth from makeup I found this. This is good products. And this is the it was $14.99. I love their eye the uh, under the eye cream is really good. It's very good. With the, the one that has the black uh cap, because they have one that has the regular cap, the white cap. The one with the black cap is really good if you have the wrinkles, it's soothing they're out pretty nice and uh it it's good for your eyes now something i don't know ingredients 50 times more powerful than traditional vitamin c hyaluronic acid you know i got a hyaluronic acid spray from tj maxx it's really good too i don't i have to share with you maybe another day i don't have it here with me it's really good when i wash my face instead of putting cream and stuff like that i put that because if i put a lot of cream i get you know Thank you, Davida. Good night, Rochelle. Thank you for stopping by, sweetheart. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you for your support. I'll see you soon in your other video. Watery lemon, guys. And then I got this. It's for firming eye serum. I don't know what else is going to firm, but I'll, I just got this firming eye serum. Let's see. There you go. The glare is terrible. There you go. It's a nice serum. It's pearless, pearlescence, pearlescence, or whatever it says. Is uh, I guess it has caffeine and peptides. Supposedly, caffeine helps firm and tighten your skin, reduces the appearance of puffiness and under eye bags. God knows about that. And leave the skin's looking firmer and younger <sighs> come on come on camera and the peptides work on, on with caffeine to help stimulate collagen production and target specific skincare needs to firm looking skin that's what it says on this thing for the eyes come on camera <laughs> the thing. okay it doesn't want it work Maybe if I move out of the way, it'll work. <laughs> the same to you, sweetheart. Be safe. Stay safe. I know you work for the hospital, so stay healthy. And uh, and God bless you, honey. <laughs> Look at Dawn. She has back in the eyes. <laughs> Me too. So that's why I got this to try it, Dawn. Hopefully it'll work. I'll let you know. <laughs> then... Like I said, I'm sorry for those who would like perfection on the YouTube. I'm not perfect. I'm a normal human being trying to share my little things with you girls. So hopefully you like find something you like to spend your money on. <laughs> like I do. Am I, do. am I looking blurry, guys? Because I see myself blurry here. I'll let you know, Dawn. <clears throat> this thing camera, come on. There you go. Then you, this one, you blame my husband. He saw this and he came walking around. He's an enabler. Look at Oreo. <laughs> Crazy cat. Isn't he cute? Oh my God, look at this hair. Well, his hair is supposed to go up like this. And the fan, I had the fan on, and it's like flowing his hair. <clears throat> you know, I rescued a cat. I don't know if you know that story. Some of you know. 
And he has three legs because he lost one because he was injured. Oh, okay, good. This was six ninety nine. So he, look at the eyelashes, guys. Look at the <laughs> look at the eyelash and the detail of this cat. Isn't he cute? He has beans inside. So isn't he cute? Oh, <laughs> with a blanket. All right, let me show you. I, I couldn't find a lot of Ray Dunn stuff. I, I don't buy all Ray Dunn, but some stuff that I like, I do buy. I was look. I went looking for that day that I got this. I went looking for. They were showing those little Ray Dunn Halloween cup with the hat on top. I wanted the which one with the legs up. I can't find them anywhere. People come. I you know. I was watching a video. A lady who was doing a video of Ray Dunn, and she was showing this guy. The lady was waiting. For the guy, for the lady, for the other lady in the store to put everything on display so she could go and pick up the stuff that she wanted, right? So she's waiting on the side. The guy, uh, this guy came with a, a cart and emptied the, the emptied the whole thing, bought it, the whole thing, because they resell them to like three times the price. How can I mean, I understand you want to make money, but come on, at least leave a couple for the rest of the people. But they take everything. And I was watching a video today too. I think it was uh, Reese's World. I think it's called. And she was trying to sh do her videos like she normally does. And people were basically pushing her out of the way to get to the radon. You believe this? That's so so bad. I don't know. Anyway, ranting a little bit, just for a little. Yeah, so rude. But whatever I find, I get. You know. I have broken. I was heartbroken. This one says cozy. It has the lid. I had one that was white that said coffee here and it had the lid. I liked it because it keeps your coffee warm if you don't drink it all at once, right? I bump into it and I broke the, 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 the poor cup, my one of my favorite cups. So I saw this one, the lid. I said, let me get this one. I mean, it's a different color. It's not, it's for fall, whatever, but you can use it anytime. I don't have, I mean, I do use things for holidays and stuff like that. But if I want to use it tomorrow and it's, it's from Christmas, I'll use it tomorrow, you know? Anyway. This was $7.99, it's a little more, it's a mug, it's not a cup cup. Let me see how big this one is. Well, they're maybe a, a half an inch bigger than the other one. Yes, yes. So it has the lid, it has the, the maple leaf in top of the lid. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna be using this one for my coffee all year round. <laughs> it says cozy, I love coffee. And it's like a, this like purplish, um, burgundy color and this is like a uh indented in there which is really nice i like them because they're easier for me to grab i can grab them like this because i have problems with my hands as you notice that this one you see the surgery here and this one here i have to i need the doctor wants to cut my neck i don't want them to cut my neck so anyway i, I digress so i got that one 7.99 then they have this one that says apple side is purple inside, like a different purple. See the difference? Very like purplish burgundy, I would say it's called. And this was $5.99 because it doesn't have the lid. But let me see if this lid fits here. I the other one I have, the lid fits. <clears throat> see, this one doesn't fit because of the way it's not rounded, but I have a bunch of them. See how this is rounded here? I have a lot of white ones that I have on my, uh, the cup hanger, you know, the little thing that's like a little tower. I have a bunch of that I can use. I, I say the other lid from the other one too. So I can use it with the other ones that I have. I have one that I was, to, that one using one that says humble. And the, well, anyway, this is apple cider, but it's a little, uh, this is the thing about these cups that they're handmade and you might think that people might say, oh, they are not that they do it. And they, they, you, when you have it distorted like this, you see how it's not completely round? It's not, what do you call Machine made or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so they might have a pattern, but, you know. So this was $5.99 for this one. And then this one, I'm sorry, I have to do because I have that. Tinkling there. This one says hello fall has orange inside. It also again it's not completely rounded. It's like this all discombobulated like I am. <laughs> and then this one says pumpkin patch. 
and this is all white. So, and then the last thing that from Raydan is this pumpkin that has a little thing here. I don't know what it is, but they have a large one, a smaller, uh, medium one, and they have this one that's small. And this one was $14.99. I didn't want the other one. I had too many. So I bought this one that says Grateful. Let me put this here so I can show you this. Bear with me for a minute, guys. Drop things again. Then last time, the last video I did, I shared with you a trade. I told you I was going to, uh, I wanted a vintage kind of tray, and I couldn't find it what I wanted. So I did my own. So I had bought the tray. This is it, the tray. It was $19.99. I got it. I think it was uh, Home Goods. And I bought this pieces from Hobby Lobby. They're wood. And my, I made my own vintage tray. You remember this tray? If you go back in the videos, you can see the original how it looked it was light brown like this brown like this so i distressed it and i put the flowers like the the ventishy thing the floor de lee and all this stuff so i made it i made it how i wanted it so this side and this side are the same and it's, this is a solid piece this is not this is actual wood that's why I got, I was looking for a plain tray because I couldn't find what I wanted. And what I wanted on Amazon, they wanted a lot of money. I'm pretty sure it was part of, part, particle board. So, and then on the sides, on the handles, I did this. And I, you see the shave, how the, 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 the thing here has the shave is cut in there. So, and I painted it myself. Now, this dress this a little bit. It's going to be beautiful. I can use it during... And it's all year round if I want to, Christmas, or Halloween, I mean, anything. <clears throat> Depending how I decorate. So, but it's very pretty to, to do that. I mean, you can put, let me see. Hello, fall. Let's see if I can make a little display here. I'm kind of crazy the way I think things. Bear with me. You bring the coffee. And when I put things over here on, on trays, I usually use the, the, the dots. So look how beautiful. You can put a small pumpkin in the middle. Isn't this gorgeous? And it doesn't have to, you know what I'm saying? Yes, 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 Alex. So you see what happened with that? I use the glue dots. You don't know if you glue dots? Let me show you what glue dots. Some people do know, but other people don't know. This is a glue dot. It's, um, let me see if I can show you. It, it, you see, it's, it's, it's the brand is glue dot, but it's like a little plastic thing. I don't know if you can see. Oh, they're so clear that you can't see. But you see the edge here? It's like a little plastic thing, but it's like a glue dot. This is usually used for paper crafting, and um different things i don't have the box that comes with it but you buy that hobby lobby has it michael has it on the paper craft and what i do is because i'm always breaking stuff i put it there on the piece and even though it's wobbly it will not fall and break like i normally do break everything <clears throat> okay Yo, 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 yo. Here I come. You might ask me why do I bought this? Okay, I'm sorry guys. I'm just trying to get that blurriness out of the way. I got myself a gum on, a gum ball machine. <laughs> oh my goodness, it was $5.99. Let me see. You never know. I might, I don't think I'm going to keep it red. I think I might change the color. And I'm going to get the gumballs from the store and put it in here. 
is a functional gumball machine. It's plastic, but this was $5.99. I'm going back to my childhood. Don't they say that after you get certain age, you go back to your childhood? I think that's what's happening to me. So I got this for $5.99. Put it here with those little round candies. It doesn't have to be gum. So I got that. Let me dig in my bag of goodies. Let's see. I found these lanterns, like I need another one. But this is different. My daughter was telling me, why are you buying something? I said, well, they're different. This is for the Halloween. They were $12.99. I got two. This is from Home Goods. And it's made by Plantation Pavilion. Made by Pavilion. Uh, made in China. Lead lantern. Excluded. Batteries are not included. I guess not. So, and it has a switch. Oh, it has a timer. I like things with timer because, you know, so that's perfect. You can hang it or you can sit in somewhere. You can put it. I have a little uh, red wagon that, that actually is a red wagon. <laughs> you know, I can't stand this thing. It's going blurry. Oh, okay. There. So I got two of those. I found these. This is just for decoration. see found these two it has that this is for halloween and this has the measurings in the back this one does and this was 3.99 silicone spatula is perfect for mixing scooping and tasting Hand watch recommended. So two pieces for four dollars. So two dollars each. I mean, they stole the side, but I bought it because of the stupid cat. I like that cat. So cute. <clears throat> then keeping with Halloween. This uh towels in my house. We use them. We just don't lose them. I suppose I put them for for decoration, but they don't stay decorated. We dry our plates with it. When you leave all the people, what are you gonna do? Fight with them? No. So I got this one, Mickey Mouse. Got two of them. The same. Five ninety nine. Was simply before first use with light colors, dark colors may bleed. bleed. Machine wash cold. Delicate cycle and mild detergent. Do not bleach, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I got these two for $5.99. <clears throat> and I got this one with, with mini flying away. <laughs> so this is going to be for my kitchen. And I like it because they're good quality. For $5.99 to good quality towels. And you know, sometimes you buy towels and they're so thin that, that you can't even dry a piece of plate. These ones are really good. I like, I, I, you know, I tried the one from Dollar Tree, but I have some of them, but they, they're so thin that by the time you finish, it's, it's soaked in water. I got this for my daughter. So, see, Alex, I think about you. See? This is for you, for your wine. <clears throat> I'm not telling you the price. Okay. Uh, let me bring this in here. <laughs> and I always finish here doing that. The holes, I have such a mess, I have to hurry up, you know. Yes, they do, uh, the, the Dawn. Yes, they do. That's why i rather pay the $6 from uh, home. I mean, you can, 
I had towels from Home Goods and TJ Maxx that I still have from years. You know? You didn't want to water that what I this? Uh, this is for you. <laughs> okay. So going with the Halloween theme. I got these cool, I guess, cauldron, I guess you want to call it. There's a trick or treat. I couldn't buy one. Of course, I would have been enough for one, but no, Gloria has to buy everything. So I got the little one and well, the medium one. Sorry for the noise. And the cutie little baby. So I got those three. Love this rustic color, so pretty. And the big one was $14.99. They're really well made, guys. This thing is strong. $7.99 for this one. And the little one was $6.99. So you if if this is a better price-wise and size-wise, this is a better buy. So this is this doubles the price of this one and it's you know <clears throat> yes Alex they bought your kitchen <laughs> where are you gonna put it you're going Halloween trick-or-treating okay and then I was around there and I'm running at the my I picked I I picked up more, but I just I said let me share only this because I don't think you guys want to see pajamas. But I I figure I share these ones with you. I got this one for twelve ninety nine. Last night I was wearing one really comfortable. No, already thirty four thirty eight dollars. Laura Ashley, it's really cute, and comfortable. I don't like to uh, I don't like to wear it. If I could be naked, I could be naked. This cute. I like the little things here, and the quality is pretty good. For twelve ninety nine, little shorts, and then I got one last night. I was wearing one last night from Ralph Lauren. Oh my god, that thing is so comfortable. Then this one was the same price. This is so soft. This is like um. Like kind of a chenille kind of thing. Oh, you love the, the cauldron style, Davida? Aren't they cute? I mean, if you want, just want it for the core, get, get the medium one. It's, the medium one for $8 is good. This was $12.99, and it comes with this green. Normally $38. This is from, what brand is this? Oh, this is a good. This is from Danskin. Danskin is a good brand. Where is the And it, this is the spaghetti strap, and you, it has the adjustable things here. And this ready for what? Or oh, ready for bed? It says ready for bed. <laughs> there you go. I need to get rid of some of my pajamas. They're so old. They're so soft. This is this thing is so soft. And this. Once you watch it, they're softer. So I got those. Let me keep pushing to this side. Okay, we're gonna go Joanne's. I didn't get much stuff for Joanne's. At Joanne's, I got this. Uh, because they, they had it on sale because I want to do the if this is a mustard color. I want to do I got those the football wired wreath forms from Dollar Tree. So I want to make lemons with them instead of a football. So I got this this uh thing for that. And then Kirkland's wanted $39.99 for six nap napkins with this pattern, the Harlequin. So I went to Joanne's, I got myself a fabric. For $6, I 
I can make not six. I can make uh, two dozens. <laughs> so I'm going to make the runners, which I already cut. And I'm going to make the napkins. This is the Harlequin. You know me and Davida, we love the Harlequin. So right, Davida? Then I got this pattern. I think I'm going to make the runners Harlequin. And then I'm going to make the napkins with the squares. And whatever I have left over, I'll make it into pumpkins. So with uh, $15, you can make yourself the runners, two runners, and uh, 12 napkins. And you still have fabric left over. I love that. So I got the Harlequin fabric. They get, I got the end of the row. They didn't have no more. I guess it's a very famous thing. All right. What do I have here? Do you guys want to see the Dollar Tree or you want, I mean, this is this the Dollar Tree is the same thing. I don't know if you want to see that. We've been here for an hour and 21 minutes. I mean, Dollar Tree is like, what's the matter? Who am I annoying? Oh, really? Well, my uh, daughter, my daughter would not fit in my pajamas. The colors I can send it to her, but the pajamas they'll fall off of her. She's skinny, mini. I'm the only chunky one of the family, in short. <laughs> she will need a small. Those are extra large. Well, guys, I think um, I'm going to leave the Dollar Tree for another day because this video is becoming too long. So, anyways, this Dollar Tree stuff that you haven't seen, is, it's been stuff you've seen already. So, anyway, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below so I can chat with you guys. And I really appreciate your support, guys. Thank you for those times. So I have seven people. Seven people give me... I, I like that. Thank you, guys. At least, you know, if you want to see anything else, I I would li like to do a shop with me, guys. But then what will happen is I'll leave the camera there and, go and wander off. <laughs> Love you, too, Davida. I hope everything is well with you. I was talking to uh, Bella and, and, and I was asking, have you talked to Davida? Because I haven't heard from her. I mean, you usually send me a text or something and Instagram and uh, when you don't do the videos. And so I was wondering, oh, by the way, Davida, this is my natural hair. It's like curly hair. All the the keratin fell off. So, and my hair is falling off too. So that's what I had. Cur the keratin is gone. I need to color it. But... Oh, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, th well, I guess you're right, Dawn. I'll probably share with you what, how I, when I make them, but it's basic. I use the sewing machine and I cut them. Uh, what I do is I use a pattern of, uh, like the, if I have, I had plenty of napkins. God knows I've had plenty. I have uh, two drawers are full of na beautiful napkins, different styles. So I look at it, I take a style, measure it, and I cut it by that and I sew it. I usually... When you, I don't know how, do you know how to sew? Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. It's, it's getting long. It's up to down, like halfway behind. It's down. I have it up. I cut it up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, you just go say that because you love me. <laughs> I'm getting all wrinkly. What do you mean? You have to show me that, Alex. I don't know. How do you put the camera down? Bring it down like this? Like that? Oh, okay. Normally, Dawn, if I had a serger, which I don't have, uh, the serger will cut and sew to get the, the edges. But since I don't have it, I have to... You see this? I do it the hard way with the machine. I, you see, I don't let, I don't let, 
actually sometimes I even put backings of the napkins. I don't know if I'm gonna do on this one, depending if I can see through the, the, the fabric. So you take, you know, they suppose this is the, the plain cut because you don't want the fabric to fray. Normally I use like a half an inch from the from the cut. Well, I do it like I say, a quarter of an inch, fold it. Figure that this is a quarter of an inch. I can't do it with this because it's too thick. And then I fold it again. Make sure it's not thick enough. Hi, Miss Bella. So once I sew it, it goes through this here. But you have to, um, I normally bring the, the stitch. I don't make it too wide because then you can see the stitch a lot. So if the smaller you make it, the less you see the stitch. That's what I do. So it will look like that. See how it looks that finished? Now, if you're gonna put a trim, I don't double fold it. You know what I'm saying? Because then the trim, you have to put the trim behind here and then it comes here and then you can sew it and the trim will cover that. So, basically that's it. Like I'm doing these pumpkins here. Well, the, the runners I'm putting, and these ones I'm putting a backing on because I want to make it like a double runner, like white and the uh, Harlequin color. So I, I, the, those two, those runners, I'm going to be sewing inside out, meaning this is the facing, right? The, the right face. So you have to take the two runners and the two good face, the two face that you're going to show, you put it inside. Sew it around. You see, this is the back, the end inside. And when you saw everything, when you get to a corner, you leave something open so you can turn it the house, you know, turn it the proper way. And you take it out, and then that corner there, you you fold it. And normally, if it doesn't fold right, I, I I iron it so it sits right. And then when you finish, the thing is completely uh, nice. And I'm I'm, a, I'm kind of a perfectionist of certain things. You came at the end, Bella. Oh, that's right. You were out to you went out to see your friends there. So I just finished showing everything to the girls. Yeah. Yes, you turn it inside out. When you if you turn it inside out when you do the double, that's okay, sweetie. You have to tell me how it go after I finish here. If you're not tired, of course. So yeah, don't like I was saying uh, I like. I like to do the doubles. The double fabric is um, when you do it inside out like that. Like I was saying, you can use both sides. You can use the, the one side for one thing, another side for another thing. Or if you use a plain, you know, it depends what you want to do. Sometimes I take um, I don't know what they call it, but it's like a little strip, and I put it in between to make it more uh, steady. Or I can I take um, I can make the I make the strip out of ribbon. You know? Mm hmm I don't like to see, you know, like sometimes you watch certain videos that people paint um, stuff or do some projects and they leave the back because nobody's going to see it. To me, I don't, it's like washing your face and leaving the rest of the body dirty. That's the way I think. Yes, better late than never. She's, I know she was. I know she was. I don't know. Wasn't sure she was gonna make it or not, Alex. So she told me last night. We talked last night. <clears throat> good. Good night, my sweetheart, my love. Be safe with the kiss. Give a kiss to my grandkids. Nene de abuelita. Yeah, I. I don't. I. Like, I have to finish stuff. Like you notice this simple thing from Dollar Tree. I have to finish it. I just can't leave that. And if you cannot finish it, cover it with something, you know? I think that's why I don't sell stuff because I'm so criti I criticize my work so much that I want to make sure it's to perfection and I'm kind of weird with that. That's why I don't, I mean, if somebody wants it, I try to make it the best I can and try to finish it the best I can, but hopefully, you know, Anyway, guys, I've been here and I want to have yapping away. 
Yeah, exactly. So, my friends, thank you for stopping by. I do have another video to show you. My daughter has to help me edit it. That's going to be a regular video uh, showing the end of the summer decor that I did. Uh, I'm going to start decorating for Halloween this week. I wish I knew how to do like this. You girls do this. Um, some people that decorate with me, how they do. I guess I could try it, but it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know. So, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your cheerful support, for the amazing love you guys gave me. Um, I, keep in mind that uh, sometimes there's been one or two weeks that I don't come by, but it's not because... I don't want to these days. I I try to, but um, I, I, I don't like to come here with a face of uh, you guys have enough issues on your own life that you don't want to see somebody else with a dragon face. So if I cannot bring you joy, you know, maybe I don't know. Maybe that's the way I feel. But I've been feeling, I mean, better today. Bella smacked the hell out of me last night on the conversation. Right, Bella? <laughs> Della gives me a lot of encouragement. She's a good friend. She's a good friend. We encourage each other, right, Miss Bella? Bella Mia. Yeah. But um, I wish I could show you more of that stuff that I when I'm making stuff, but I'm so slow. Yeah, oh my goodness. With all that stuff with within the, the between the storms. Between the fires in California, between the C-19 and the craziness of the, what do you call the politics? I don't know how people are not creating chaos out there. <laughs> yeah, good smack. She's a good friend. She's a very good friend. We have, I'm very, very blessed to have met her. We have met in person, but she's a very good friend. She, when I complain, she listens to me and I do the same thing and we encourage each other, which is nice. I love her cheerful way. Not everything could be uh, bananas and peaches. That's how they say it. Yeah, that, that, yeah we pray, we, we've been praying for you too. We miss you on the these uh, Wednesday night thing too. Yeah, I think about you a lot. You know that, Davida. And I pray for you every time. I say, I wonder how she's doing. You know, we have a niece. I have a niece that lives there. I don't know exactly where. You should have asked my daughter. She she would have told you where because I don't know where she lives. Oh, thank you, the Bella. Yes, all the craziness. Gosh. Gosh, gosh. My goodness. Peaches and cream. There you go. But you know what? Like I was telling Bella the other night, I said, you know what? We was we had to keep going. God doesn't give us nothing we cannot handle. He created us. He knows. Humans think they know. They don't know. Our creator. Of course he will. This is this is not this is man-made. This is not man's world. This is God's world. And whatever he says, if God with me, who against me? But we all have to learn one way or the other, one thing or the other. So we have to pray, at least if, if, even if you don't do it constantly, just every time you stop for a second and remember a person, just pray for them. Just say, Lord, keep her protect. You don't have to make a long prayer. Just, just a word. Just ask God. That's all you have to do. Like you're talking to me now and I'm talking to you. Or like, you know, God, why is this? Please uh, protect such and such. Send the angels to the person, uh, to the family. I mean, uh, I don't know. What are we going to do? We keep going. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Yes. He listens. You think he's not listening to you, but he listens. Yeah. So anyway, I don't think I have anything else to share with you. This is Dollar Street stuff that I have here. Signs and stuff that, you know, you're about to break apart. 
but I'm glad to see that you, that to see you that to see you, uh, Davida, and to, to everybody else. I'm glad I had uh, that was nice to have a lot of people here. Well, I had ten people. That was nice. Yes, he does, Don. He he listens to us, even though we might not know what we're saying to it, saying, but he does. He listens to us. So. Let's see what I come up with this. I don't think I'm going to keep it this red. This is too bright for me now. And it's fun. It's red. It's not the burgundy, the darker red. I like red, but it's like a darker red. This is too bright for me. Cheerful. Of course, I share with you. This is like, to me, when I meet with you guys to share with you, it's like a, it's like me going shopping with you. That's that's. I wish I could get all you girls. Let's go shopping. Since I don't, I can't do it that way because we're so apart from each other. This is how I enjoy doing this. None of this stuff is irrelevant. It, it's but just the joy of sharing with you to be here with you and talk to you. That's that's basically what I do it because it doesn't make no sense. You know, I mean, we buy stuff we like. I love shopping, but yeah, I think I'm gonna paint it maybe uh, black. What do you think, black or silver? <clears throat> Exactly, Don, yeah. Like, we're going shopping together, yeah. Black, right? Yeah, okay. But I think I'm going to spray paint it, because if I spray paint it, the paint will stick better on this plastic, because these other paints, they tend to chip. Oh, that's <laughs> I laugh at myself, Don, what are you talking about? <laughs> you have to, what are you going to do? I was talking to my daughter earlier, and she's talking to me about this other thing. I said, what are you going to do? What are we going to do? Just keep going. You know, what are, what are you going to do? Make the best out of it. We have to thank God we have a place to live. We have uh, food on the table. It could be a piece of bread, but it's food on the table. What color are you doing yours, Davida? <laughs> My husband, when he sees me at night putting makeup on, he says, are you doing a video? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> keep going. What was it? There was a saying about that keep going thing. Somebody was saying something. And the show must, be, must go on. There they go. Hey, Judy. Oh. It's an... Um, you're talking about my paper pads you're talking about? Yeah, just keep swimming. The problem is I have a problem, David. I don't know how to swim. I'll drown. <laughs> I don't even know how to float. I'll, I'll sink into the bottom. <laughs> Antique white. Ooh, that sounds nice. Oh, Judy, you wanted to see how I store my paper. Let me see if I, I have a small camera. Uh, see, that's what I've been doing. I did this. All oh, my paints is there. But, and my ribbons are there. And then my paper is there, Judy. Let me see if I can turn it around. You see the paper? It's right there. I got these two shells from uh, Michael's. So, and then there's more paper than drawers. And I took the door out of the closet. And I have this little rolling card here that I bring over here when I'm crafting. Then I have my Gemini there. That Over here I have different things. And you want to see the mess that I made? Look. <laughs> and for those who haven't seen it, uh, one day I'll do a video, complete video. Hold on, so guys, I'm shaking my head. This is the back where I'm sitting. That's my big shot there. They have, uh, that's uh, gels and stuff like that. I have a flower arrangement here. Let's see with the flowers. And I have my, my Cricut over there, cover, I made that. It has some dolls that I made. I made a Tilda. Uh, that pink one is uh, a piggy bank that I made. I make that unicorn over there. I don't know if you've seen it. Then I had glitter, not glitter over there on that brown thing. The door with the ribbon. I painted that Create. I'm just showing you a little bit. 
up there i did that machine that's that thing over there on the top oops, over here that's a sewing machine made out of a fabric my antique little sewing machine my alice in wonderland things that i love that pink that's for just that machine there pink i use it to sew let's see over here to sew paper when i do stuff with paper i take that one down and i sew things i don't use the same one i use for fabric for that this is my Alice in Wonderland section that I told you I was going to make. I still have to make the Carolson. That was sent by a friend. And I had that bunny that I shared with you. My daughter sent me that. She brought this uh, little girl here, Alice in Wonderland. She got it from the Universal Studio in California when she went recently. And I had those are the little paints. I got those. You see those boxes there that have the paints laying down like this? Those little boxes, I bought 10, 10, 10 of them. They're from Dollar Tree. You see the, the, the paint? I bought them, I painted them, I glued them together, and I put the paints, and they make perfect story for the paint. But then, then over here, this is these are the um this white thing here. This is the pink over here on the this side. You open and that you have the Tim Hall stamp ink. And let me see if I go around. Go so I got I don't want to make you to see. Uh, over there, I have a shelf. Oops, let me see. Sorry, I can't stretch the thing too much. I have a shadow box there. This is a window. I made that dress form. Yeah, it's very ten dollars, and you can paint it over here. I have uh, markers and stuff, and some stuff. My grandson, when he was little. This is a uh, puffy ink. I made that mirror. You see there. And I had glitter up there. And back here. Sorry, I, I can't move this out of the way. Back here, I have this thing here that I bought the other day. I have my journals there. In the corner. Ribbon there. I have more ribbon up there. It's a small room. This is a 10 by 9 room. My uh, Copic. Mark is up there. Uh, washi tape behind there, which I rarely use. This little machine is good to emboss. But I like it because it's kind of decorative. And I have different things there. Now, the drawer with stuff. And then over here, I have a little thing that has lace stuff. Depending what I'm doing. One day I'll take the camera and do a whole video of every single corner. I've been promising you guys this, I think, for the past three months or three years. <laughs> but uh, it's, by the time I, I want to make the video, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to put the camera back. It's a small room. I'm hoping someday I'll get a bigger room. This thing doesn't want to stay now. There you go. Yeah. It's a small room. It's a round circle. I have put my desk this way. I used to have it this way. Facing the window now, I put it sideways. So I just come here and this. And that's it. So my friends, I'm going to let you go because this has been here, oh my gosh, almost two hours. I'll see you guys soon. Say goodbye to my friend Pepe. <laughs> Say bye, guys. Bye. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, keep in mind, I I'm going to be loading this week a uh, video of my uh, end of the summer decor so i hope you enjoy it it's a uh, it's not a masterpiece from uh, hollywood but it's just me sharing with you so good night god bless may the lord protect you and protect all of us and i'll see you then take care bye bye bye